Hey guys, this is Eclipse Gaming KSP, and welcome to Besiege. This is the first time I have recorded the video in this game. You can see that we are on Ypsilon, and I have captured the first four islands already, and I still need to do five. And so, in today's video, I will show you how I've done those first four. Now, this is my first video in Besiege. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. It's an nice to have something other to do than Kerbal Space Program. Uh, because, you know, after a thousand hours in the game, it gets, you know, just, yeah, you slow down a little bit. But anyway, this is the vehicle that I have done a lot of stuff with. It is the USR-1 for the Ultimate Siege Rover. And you can see there, it's a very simple little craft. And, uh, I have some small wheels that make up the uh, uh, steering mechanism and large ones actually drive it so anyhow you can see here when you uh, you just use the arrow keys and it drives there you go that was easy um so yeah conquered let's just destroy everything why not um so anyway yeah works pretty well um, and of course it provides a base for other more complicated things you can do with it so anyhow for this one we're gonna try and go up and get it let's kill some chickens Waha! kill the chickens Waha! But anyway let's see here if we can uh get up on top and get rid of that windmill thing we're supposed to destroy so this thing is like the, the one thing this thing's not good at is climbing you can see it kinda struggles there oh man it broke so obviously we might have to rethink this here uh, I was able to do it before with this vehicle but mm, yeah I wouldn't count on it especially yeah, let's. That's not gonna work. So there's a simple fix for that. You just take a um, little block and stick it right there. Probably we don't. Now nah, we don't need two of them. The uh, then we take a little blade, stick it right on top there. That'll give us something we can protrude out with and get rid of that windmill. Wait, it lo looks like it broke there on the right. Huh. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's not going to stop us, so probably just dropped it from a little too high up. Anyway, let's go in here and... Waha, gotcha! <laughs> so yeah, that was easy again. Next zone. So, start to see it a little more complicated here. You can see there are just little bombs all over the place, so you have to... I believe the idea is to drive through it and reach the Insigna. But, you know, you know me, I'm all about doing things the easy way and stuff. So, here's the plan. We're just going to... So, yeah. That, so we don't break it again. Anyways, go ahead and... Go over. By the way, the camera controls absolutely suck in this game. I mean, I suppose you can't really blame it, it's an early alpha. <laughs> this vehicle can drift. It's, yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, let's go in and get rid of that column. Ha! Screw your column. We don't need you. Boom. <laughs> so we spectacularly conquered it. Yes. Beautiful. Some flaming wreckage going all over the place. Zone conquered. Man, I love this game so much. Alright, so this one they're going to immediately start shooting at me. So I better back up. Alright. You can see they're falling short as I back away. They're not particularly smart because, you know, if I were there, I would aim slightly ahead of where I would need to so it would actually hit me. But, you know, they're dumb. They're in a video game, so screw it. Anyway, we have to destroy those two structures. 
Now, obviously, I'm not going to have much time because those arrows actually can do quite a lot of damage to wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hit the windmill in such a way where it falls onto the little house, making both of them collapse. At least that's the plan. And we're starting to get some destruction here, and boom. Perfect. All right. This is turning out to be pretty easy, I think. Now, this one is pretty hard. Uh, with this one, about the best you can do is spin around in circles. Oops. You know, you spin around in circles, try and get as many of them as you can, but they're still going to eventually wreck your craft. You can see, you know, we got pretty close to getting them all, but, you know, close is not good enough. And my craft is wrecked. My craft is wrecked. So, um, what we're gonna do here is, you know, I've, I've got this idea on how to do it. I've obviously not done this level before. But, you know, let's go ahead and... Sure, overwrite. So that's, that, that's our USR1 for now. But let's... Try and <clears throat> I'm gonna build something. Where's the trash button? What about oh there it is. There. Now I've got this idea where if I put like some saw blades on each side, it will just charge right through them. Destroying them all. So you know, that that ought to work. To get at least some of them out of the way. Alright. So it'll just charge right through them probably. And uh let's see here. Looks good enough for now. It's like a very simple little... Oh my god! It doesn't charge. It spins. This is brilliant. Oh my god. That thing is like the jumping saw blade demon of death. <laughs> like, if you saw this thing coming towards you, that would, like, it would almost be psychological warfare right there. So yeah, this is... Working pretty well. Imagine if we had so many of these. Like, imagine if we had uh, ten of these. Coming to order them. Or even five. I mean, they would be so chaotic. And... There we go. That ought to do it for now. Seven of them. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it just... <laughs> But I don't even know how to, like, describe what just happened. That was insane. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let's go over and, uh, obliterate some people. We only need, like, five more people. That's it. One. Two, three. Yeah. This is the best weapon ever. Look at that. That's how you beat this level, guys. In case you're wondering, that's how you do it. Alright, we only need, like, one more person. One more person, that's all I need. One more person. Yes! Sound <laughs> conquered. Alright. Well, there you go, that's the first five of them. And you notice this one. Steal and deliver. Okay. Well, that will be in the next episode. Uh, that'll probably be something to do with the USR-1. Let's save this craft. Chaos Blades. So, yeah. Stay tuned in for the next episode, which will come in two weeks. Until then, I've been Eclipse Gaming KSP. And until next time, explode responsibly.